Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Be sure to subscribe and stick around to the end, man. You're not going to want to miss this one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Skip Bayless continues to take a lot of criticism after he tweeted this following the DeMar Hamlin hit. Now, if you guys have been living under a rock, this tweet went viral, okay? And Skip Bayless, man, listen, he pretty much is standing on what he said now. After this, right, a lot of people, former players, came out, as you guys can see on the screen, Kendrick Perkins, guys like Darrell Revis, they came out and they pretty much spoke out against Skip Bayless. Guys like Isaiah Thomas, as you guys can see, want Skip Bayless to lose his job. <laughs> now, Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless's co-host, as you all know, they've been sort of having a little bit of a beef these last few weeks. And after Skip Bayless's tweet, Shannon Sharp decided he was going to take the day off yesterday. Now, he made his return today, and we've got to take a quick listen to what he had to say. Morning. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation of why I wasn't on air yesterday, and I won't get into speculation or conjecture or innuendo, but I will say this. In watching that game on Monday night, uh, what happened to DeMar Hamlin struck me a little different. Um, as a brotherhood in the NFL, when injuries happen, when we know injuries are a part of the game, I've seen guys suffer ACLs and Achilles tear, but I've never seen anybody have to be revived and fight for their life on the field. So it struck me a little differently because I remember seeing my brother paralyzed on the field temporarily, and he was able to regain focus. Um, Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yes. Time out. Time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me. All right. Okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead. Let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back. Skip, well, I thought, Skip, just let me. I, I didn't I, know I, you I were going to bring no, up No, this. I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where DeMar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into okay. your not get into your uh, uh, your tweet. That's what I was going to do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Nobody here had a problem with that tweet. This man is, he's crazy. Clearly the bosses wanted you to offer explanations, so clearly somebody No, they did not have, the, nobody- Let's go, Jen. So, as you guys just heard, ladies and gentlemen, man, Shannon Sharp is, he's getting real sick and tired of Skip Bayless. Now, he did make his return today, so that was good to see. The show must go on, ladies and gentlemen. And to be quite honest with you, man, this is very, very good for ratings. That I know for sure. Now, Matt Barnes spoke out about Skip Bayless, and he had some very, very interesting comments that we got to take a quick listen to. Deep breaths from not jumping across that table and wringing that man's neck. But I think Skip's day is coming. And it may not be from a, a firing standpoint because, you know, we know white men in this profession can kind of get away and do with, you know, what they want. It just is what it is. Um, and it makes good TV. Remember, controversy sells. So, of course, Fox are going to want to keep those type of ratings. But I know personally, personally, that I've had to defuse two situations, one with the coach and one with the NBA player. They wanted to fuck Skip up. Personally, I've had to do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is breaking news. <laughs> Matt Barnes just said that a coach wanted to fuck Skip Bayless up. Man, Skip Bayless, listen, <laughs> I, I see why Skip Bayless is never outside. One was this year, one was last year. But personally, I had to hit, reach out to Unc and, and set up a conversation for people who wanted to fuck Skip up. But, you know, luckily cooler heads have prevailed. But, I mean, I just see it, it's just gone too far, in my opinion. Um, and again, Shannon's had a lot of love or does have a lot of love for dude, but you could even see Shannon's fed up and someone's going to end up hurting Skip because his ego, his arrogance, his disrespect has kind of always been on this level, but now it's, it, it, I think it's going to a new level and, and now he's disrespecting his co-host and, and, and Shannon and, and again, someone, you know, they've had a great working relationship over the years, but this dude Skip is all bad and, and, and he thinks that he could say and do what he wants and there isn't going to be any repercussions. And there may not be no repercussions uh, from his job, but someone is going to run up on Skip 
and hurt this man. I don't know if it's gonna be in 2023 or 2024, but it's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys just heard Matt Barnes say, man, Skip Bayless is about to get ran down on. Now, me personally, I don't agree with that. Um, this man is 70 years old, man. Y'all leave this man alone, all right? I, I don't want to see anything bad happen to Skip Bayless, all right? Y'all y'all leave that man alone. Let him do his show, and let's just go ahead and just let bygones be bygones, man. I don't want to see anything happen to Skip Bayless. I want no physical harm done to Skip Bayless. I cannot condone that or support that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to get you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think about what Shannon and Matt Barnes had to say let me know, man. This was another installment of The Locker Room. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Kids wasn't cool to me, they never really liked me Being hated isn't new to me, but uh, I get it Cause when you're winning, they isn't Jealousy has no ending, so pray the Lord, forgive them Every day I gotta thank them for the blessings Rumors about my life, will I ever address them? I don't know, worry about your kicks, my nigga And what are those? <laughs> yeah, we don't know Music nowadays, man, y'all gotta be kidding me Lyrics was whack, gave them an A for his energy You tried, my nigga, I would tell you keep it up But the way my shit sound and I can't see you keeping up I'm the new leader of the new, new niggas Says a lot about you if you ain't fucking with us So go on and ask them who the greatest is And you can keep your two cents if you ain't paying the bills It's real When it comes to my women, if it's over, then it's over. I'm glad that we in it. She coming back when she see how I'm living. She played games with a nigga, but now that I'm winning, she doing everything I say with no questions asked. I'm sucking on the titties while I'm grabbing the ass. I used to daydream about her back when I was in class. So you know that when I fucked, I came fast and laughed. I'm doing me now. Bigger rings for the team now. Trying to tie me down fast, tell her slow it down. Baby girl wanna sit and play house So I sat on the couch and put this thing in the mouth How to flow so north, but he raised in the south Got my family tripping cause they can't figure it out I can't wait no more, man, the time is now On my mama, I'ma make a prayer The story